Welcome to the series of concept art for beginners and in this video you can see I have a drawing roughed out. I'm using the stencil paper pencil glazing brush just to block in this horse back here. You can see it's going to be in the lower third of the composition. Uh, it's a uh, series of paintings I'm doing on the Legend of Sleepy Hollow and you can see up top are some of my color references from previous paintings. Now I'm working in digital water and I'm glazing digital water over my real rough sketch. Uh, I generally do really rough sketches just to get an idea of where I want things and then I just block in the shapes. Uh, I'm very shape oriented when it comes to organic environments, landscapes, things like that. I tend to take a lot more time in the drawing uh, for cityscapes and then definitely a, a lot more uh, time with characters before I start blocking in the color. But as you can see here I'm just blocking in with digital water. The beauty of digital water is that I can go light to dark and dark to light and build up um, my shapes. So in this uh, particular pass I'm only considering shapes. I'm not going to consider form at all. I'm not interested in where, I mean I am interested in where the light will eventually be coming from but this is where I could just block in and I'm going from background to foreground in in my block in. Uh, it, it, that's the main goal in this particular uh, stage of the painting is really to just set foreground, middle ground, and background and usually with uh, value. And this is all done with digital water, new simple water. And uh, I haven't dried it. As you can see my palette, my custom palette, I have a uh, drying button down there that I can dry my canvas at any time. I'm not interested in drying it at this point. Um, that's coming up here shortly. I'm just trying to block in the painting. This whole first stage of shape generally takes me anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes as I'm working. And again, I'm just trying to find some interesting shapes and, and develop my foreground, middle ground, and background. And we'll continue here in digital uh, digital watercolor, darkening the foreground a bit more, and then defining the shapes, making them a little bit more interesting. And I define the shapes all the way through the painting, but this is really to set the composition. Compositions, uh, a lower third composition, uh, and you can see I just dried the digital water, and I'm going to lay in another digital water over the entire thing. Beauty of digital water, like I said, you can go light to dark, dark to light, and then not drying it. Now I'm going to go back to what I had underneath to start creating a little bit more atmospheric perspective just using shapes and, and continuing to make the shapes a little bit more interesting as I get into the form in just a little bit. And then I'll clean up a little bit of the uh, the image with the glazing brush, the construction brush. I really like the new construction brush in uh, Corel 17, the Painter 17. I'm just setting the stage in this first uh, first pass of the painting. You can see I'm going to um, play with the brightness contrast under the effects uh, menu item. And there is the finish of the block in. Mm -hmm. 